Welcome, my name is Lars Eric Robinson. Uh, my company is Lars Arts, all around artainment. And today I'm going to talk about how I look at a caricature and what, when I look from a photo and how I, how I render from that. It's a big difference between uh, doing from a small photo and actually doing it in real life. You have smaller areas you look at and you really have to expand from that. This is a great one. I, I found this of Kiefer Sutherland in a gossip magazine my wife had laying around the house. And I love how his eyes are all droopy. And what I first look at when I look at it is I look at, okay, I try to get his comparison of his eyes and see his slants. The eyes is what I always focus on first. Then I look at the general shape of how his whole face, face is. So maybe it comes out more like this. And you're always thinking about what mood he's in right now. He looks very tired and droopy looking. Uh, he's probably been up all night partying. And then I, I get his nose. Some people have really big nose, rounded nose, and that's what I see in this picture here. And then, then we have his, as you can tell here, it, his lip comes up a little bit more than on this side. So I extend that. And that's what you try to do in caricatures. You know, as his chin comes down and you have it coming down even more. So basically what you have to understand is that I usually always start with the eyes, but also there's other caricatures. There's certain, if you see different feature, you can start with the outside of a caricature and get the outside form of them. Think of it as a balloon. If it's bigger on the bottom and you squish it, the balloon on the top of it, it can, becomes bigger on the bottom. So that's a good way to look at a face if, if it looks like it's bigger on the bottom and, and smaller on top. Well, thank you. I hope that helped you guys understand more what we go through as a caricature artist.